One of the biggest issues when working on a geolocation problem is knowing where to begin. While you often start with an image that has some general clue as to the region or country, you can spend hours comparing the specific landscape you see to satellite imagery in order to find the exact location. And how do you take that photo and identify where to start looking at satellite imagery? Bellingcat's OpenStreetMap search tool can help with this problem. By adding specific features from an image that might be mapped in OpenStreetMap, the tool generates a list of location leads for a researcher to investigate. My name is Logan Williams, and I'm a data scientist on Bellingcat's investigative technology team. Bellingcat is an independent, nonprofit collective that investigates subjects in the public interest using open source research methods and creates tools and training materials to teach those methods to others. In this video, I'll walk you through how you can use Bellingcat's OpenStreetMap search tool to assist with a geolocation. To begin, we sign in to the tool using a Google account. Any Google account will work, and this is only being used in order to keep track of how many people are using the tool. Upon signing in, we see a pane for features that we have selected on the left that we can choose from a list of presets on the right. Let's take a look at the image that we want to geolocate and see what features might be present in an OpenStreetMap search for this image. I know this photo was taken somewhere in Belgium, but I'm not sure exactly where. What do we see here that might be helpful for searching? One thing that is almost always on a map are rail lines or tram lines. So this streetcar line here could be useful. There's also a fountain, which is frequently mapped. And if we look across the street, we can see a small general or convenience store. This could also be a useful feature to search for. In the tool, let's start by adding the convenience store, because that is the most specific location of the three features we identified. Next, we'll drag the fountain feature over to the selected features pane. And finally, we'll add the railroad. The next step is to select the maximum distance between features that we want to search. In this case, the default of 100 meters looks like it could work well, since the features are within that distance of each other. Finally, we select the search area that we would like to search in the OSM database. I will type in Belgium in order to fly to that part of the world. Below the map, we see a warning that our search area is very large Especially in very well-mapped parts of the world, like the West, there can be so many features to search through that a search may take too long to execute, or might not even succeed at all. To prevent this, it is good to zoom in and choose the smallest possible area that you think includes your region of interest. Since we know that this is likely to be the French part of Belgium, I will select just the southern part of the country, as well as the capital city of Brussels, for this search. Finally, we can press Search to execute our query. We retrieved 14 total results, which we can see in the map, as well as in a list below. There are several ways that we can visualize these results by default using an OSM style map, but also as a Google map, as a terrain map, or as satellite imagery, whatever is most helpful to a researcher trying to evaluate what results are promising. Let's switch to the OSM setting and take a look at the results. This result, number seven, looks particularly promising because we see a curve in the rail line over the fountain just as we see in the image. Let's click on it, and this takes us to that location in the map 
and we can see that it is a square in the capital of Brussels. If we wanted to, it is also possible to export the results list as a CSV or as a KML file for use in Google Earth. There are many types of features in OpenStreetMap, and not all of those features are in the Feature Presets pane here. To search for other features, it is possible to add a custom feature using this custom feature interface down below. For more details on this, see the full article at bellingcat.com. One common issue you might encounter is that your search times out. For example, let's say you have some features that you want to look for, but you're not sure exactly where they are, so you select a very wide area and ignore the search area warning message. When you press search, instead of getting search results, you might get an error message like the following. Your search area is too large or your search timed out. The easiest way to solve this issue is simply to search in a smaller area of the map. Another common issue you might encounter while using Bellingcat's OpenStreetMap search tool is the following. You add your features, you go to execute your search, but when the search completes, you see your login has expired, please log in again, and no results. To fix this issue, simply sign out and sign back in. You will retain your search query, but you will begin a new session that will allow your search to execute successfully. You can access the OpenStreetMap search tool today by going to osm-search.bellingcat.com. To see more tools and read more technical guides from Bellingcat's investigative tech team, go to bellingcat.com slash tag slash tech team. You can always go to bellingcat.com to see our latest investigations and resources.